एवरीवन वेलकम टू न्यू एपिसोड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग फाइव टिप्स टू टेक रियली गुड फोटोज एंड गेट बेटर एट फोटोग्राफी यस दैट इज हैपनिंग टुडे सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई जस्ट वांट टू मेक इट क्लियर दैट आई एम बाय नो मींस रियली गुड फोटोग्राफर आई एम जस्ट नॉर्मल पर्सन ट्राइंग टू टेक डिसेंट फोटोज आई जस्ट वांटेड टू शेयर दिस टिप्स विद यू गाइस सो दैट यू कैन गेट बेनिफिटेड आउट ऑफ दिस एंड कैन हेल्प यू गेट बेटर एट फोटोग्राफी एंड दीज आर द टिप्स दैट आई हैव पर्सनली यूज्ड ओवर द पास्ट टू गेट बेटर एट फोटोग्राफी सो विदाउट फर्दर ado let's get started so the first one is framing Okay so let's say we have to click a photo of a knife that frame does really look good but if you had something from the corner or something from the bottom by adding this elements the photo is going to look really different and really unique also using the rule of thirds does make your photo look really good basically what rule of thirds is aligning a certain object which does not has to be the subject of the picture on the intersecting points of the grid lines like we have this grid lines over here and if we align myself on this grid line like this maybe like this just like that i'm not saying that you should always use the rule of thirds but sometimes if you use it at some situations it's going to look really good so let's talk about lighting lighting plays the most important role when you are shooting anything may it be video or may it be photo if you don't have good lighting your photo is not going to be good lit and maybe they won't look so good and you don't need professional lights to shoot really good photos you can just move near a window and take really good photos if you're shooting indoors you can move near a window So if you're shooting outdoors try to find conditions like shade overcast and the best timing to take photos is the golden hour. So try to shoot in good lighting unless you're going for night photography. Moving on to the third tip which is shooting through things. When you are shooting anything taking the photos through something or from behind something is really going to help you isolate the subject. Also the object which is in the foreground is going to give you that nice bokeh and this usually helps in separating the object from the other elements which are there in the photo. Next is shooting in manual Taking photos in manual and keeping the file format at raw helps so much. Trust me when I started taking photos I always used to shoot in auto mode. I never used to check what the settings were but sometimes I would realize that the photos are not properly exposed or maybe something is wrong. So I switched to using manual and manual gives you so much control over the settings. And also shooting in manual is not only going to help you to take better photos but also help you in long term. Also shooting in raw format does help you a lot. It gives you so much control when you bring that photo in post that is while editing it. The last thing which we are going to be talking about is going to be angles. Finding the most unique and the most different angles is difficult, but if you put some time into it and some creativity into it, it is really going to help you. So many people will shoot the same photo from the same angle maybe it would be a little bit different but they would be almost similar using the angles from the side from the straight or from the top they are good angles to shoot at but if you take that one extra step of taking some time and putting some thought into it and choosing a an angle which is not the most common angle and which not most people use and the photo that you click is going to make you stand out between all the others so there you have it those were some of my tips that can help you get better at photography and take really good photos if you learned something out of this video or just had fun please be sure to leave a like leave a comment also if you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe lots of content coming soon i will see you in the next video